Hopefully you've been with us for the last several weeks. If not, no worries. Hop on, look at the other videos, or you just start right here. It's completely fine. So a lot of you guys wonder about directives, and I get this question all the time because sometimes we get into this, oh, I don't know enough, or I don't, I don't know what to say. So before we hop into talking just about directives, let's talk about what is non-directive or a directive tray. So non-directive is when you give a prompt for a client just to make a tray about their world. No good or bad, right or wrong. That is what we call a non-directive tray. Now a directive tray is the, what we do in sand tray therapy and that is where we ask the client to make their tray about something. Now some people get freaked out and they feel like they need a list of directives and We've got one of those for you guys coming, so just hang in with me. But the good news is, is you don't need a directive, and I'll even tell you a little hint, a little behind the scenes information about me. Oftentimes, when I walk into a sand tray session with some of my adult clients, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna say as far as what directive I give them, um, especially not before the session. But I, when I am processing with them or as I'm talking with them during the start of the session, I will start thinking about, okay, what, are, what is the pain point? What is it that I need to know to help me be a better therapist? What, do, what is the barrier that, is, that they're trying to get across? And because oftentimes, remember, what we say the problem is, isn't really what it is. And, uh, and that answer relies in that right part of your brain, which is, again, the, how the, why the magic of sand tray therapy works. So this is what we want to do with directives, is that we want to allow a different starting point. So that's all a directive is, is a different starting point than the non-directive typical prompt. And know that the client will do and the client's brain will work in what direction it needs to go. As long as you are there providing that neuroception of safety and you're there providing that space, it's you don't have, your progress is not dependent upon you giving the exact right directive. All it is is a starting point. And it's something to kind of hang your hat on or have the, allow, the client's brain to hang their hat on to go, okay, well, I get this. So an example of a directive would be Make a tray about your best memory. Make a tray about maybe your favorite hobby. Make a tray about your life, whatever it is. Now here's another insider thing that happened to me many, many times in session, is that when I am working with a client, I will come in and maybe I've been thinking about this directive for a long time and I've been, you know, oh, okay, this is gonna be really, really good for this client. It's gonna help them heal a lot. And I come in and I say, okay, we'll make a tray about what happened before the abuse or uh, you know whatever it is that I think that is awesome and then they start building and what they build actually has nothing to do with the directive that I gave now did it mean that I gave a wrong directive absolutely not but the brain went where it needs to go and again as long as I'm holding that space and there's even been times before when I have at the end of the session, I will say, okay, that was, you know, I'm, I appreciate all the effort you've done and, you know, they're really jazzed about the progress. I said, but I just want a note. Do you remember the directive that I gave you? And sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. And then I said, let's look at that depending on what you built. And they will be shocked because in their mind, they're doing what I ask, and but it won't be exactly what came out in the tray which is fine. Again, the most important thing is that you are there providing the space and providing that neuroception of safety so the brain can do what it needs to do. So again, don't get too hung up in having the right directives, but when we are new sand tray therapists, oftentimes we do like to have, you know, lots of directives in our hands to hold. So what I, I've got for you guys is I'm gonna give you something, but you gotta give me something. Here's the deal not anything major, all I want you to do is tell me below your favorite directive. What has worked really well for you? And when you do that, I'm gonna message you over 50 of my favorite directives. Not just mine, but those from my community as well. So 
Um, anyway, I've got some really exciting things to make your sand tray life easier and some shortcuts that you can use if you ever get that deer in the headlights feeling of what am I going to do or what I'm going to say with this client. So again, pop that below, tell us your favorite directive, and we will message you um, 50 more to help you in your sand tray journey. All right, see you next week.